China or Hong Kong at least, is about to come into crypto. We're gonna talk about some of the requirements that your project would need to have to get into the Chinese market. And many of your projects will not be able to get in the Chinese market. So let's take a look and a deep dive, well, not really a deep dive, but a preliminary look right now at what you need. So first of all, we're talking about exchange approval and coins on those exchanges that could get approved. There's been 152 written submissions, and right now we're in a uh, consulting period, and the regulatory authorities have not even approved one. Now, they're really going to start looking over this on June 1st. They want uh, a comprehensive virtual assets regulatory framework that follows the principle of same business, same risk, same rules, and aims to provide robust investor protection and manage key risks. Now, this is already much better than the United States, which doesn't really want any regulations. Um, at least according to the SEC, they refuse to actually make rules. So 152 written submissions, they have not approved one, but they'll really start looking at them on June 1st. So the restrictions are going to be tight. It's not loosey-goosey. It's not like anyone can actually get into the industry uh, for Hong Kong. But there is still a lot of hope because remember, June 1st is the first time they'll actually really start diving into this. However, your favorite coins like Pepe may not make the cut. So approved tokens need a 12-month track record and substantial market capitalization. Now, I don't really know what a 12-month track record is. It probably means that your coin hasn't died in the last 12 months. So things like Pepe and Woljack, they're not going to make the cut. I doubt China would really allow that many meme coins anyways because they want it tightly controlled. And substantial market capitalization, not really sure what that is. A billion, two billion, four billion it's very, very hard to tell, but probably any coin in the top 50 would actually uh, fit within the substantial market capitalization. So no scams within the last 12 months, um, operating successfully in the last 12 months, and probably a market cap of several hundred million, if not a billion. Obviously, Bitcoin and Ethereum fall into that, Cardano, uh, you know, Polkadot, VeChain, all those could actually fall into that category. Um, these are long-held expectations uh, with developments in China and Asia. However, um, registered exchanges will not be able to provide stable coins in uh, China or interest-bearing instruments, probably no yield farming, which sucks, and no staking, which also sucks. But this is kind of what you expected from a tightly controlled regulatory perspective. But just all those coins coming to the market should actually pump them. So I expect all the big coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, you know, like Cardano, etc. I also expect like, you know, VeChain and a couple of others uh, that actually have substantial market capitalization that have been around for more than 12 months to make the cut as well. I expect not from these new stable coins, Pepe and Wojak, and many of these new AI projects that have just popped up. I don't expect them to make the cut and they shouldn't make the cut because many of them are probably scams or just pump and dumps. So that's my view on it. Look for a lot of top 50 coins in China. Uh, FTX is obviously out because it's a scam. And look for exchanges, but kind of bland exchanges that don't offer yield farming or staking. So that's the scoop right now. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.